While UIKI is a social service agency similar in many ways to others that serve seniors, it is so much more than that. It is the embodiment of our community essence, the Kokoro of Japantown. Fifty years ago after its founding, the spirit of perseverance, mutual support, and welcome that created UIKI lives on as reflected in the faces and voices of staff, volunteers, participants, and family members shared with NCI intern Natalie DeSena in the summer of 2023. In the early 1970s, ACA fundraised and organized activities for seniors in Japantown. When ACA disbanded, Dan and Chris reached out to the community organizations to come together to create UIKai using ACA monies as seed funding. And we had representatives from every group wow. in these meetings for a year. Mm -hmm. was it? it must have been a year. Yeah. It was a long time. We met like every month. It was just really heartwarming to see so many groups come together and be able to contribute to the discussion and to the formation of mm -hmm. this group. San Jose Japan Town was really nurturing. It was a privilege to be a part mm -hmm. of the beginning. And we are so happy that it's continuing this way. Mm -hmm. It's kind of been a labor of love. It's hard work sometimes on these committees, tiring and long, but at the end of the day, it's worth it. Even though I retired, I wanted to stay involved, and I've told other board members if they quit, they should at least get involved in the other parts of it to keep the organization going. I really love the seniors. I miss them when I don't see them you know, during the pandemic. I teach the craft class. They all enjoy the class, and I hope that they continue this class. I'm actually 86 years old and I'm still working at UIKai. Well, especially during the pandemic, this place was a godsend because of virtual. I took enhanced fitness, I took Zumba, I took yoga, iPad, I was in it from 2011 and I'm still in it. They're all special, they have their own unique things that interest me. There's only one issue, there's not enough time in the day because there's too much going on and I wish I could do more. <laughs> I started the senior program at UIKai for social reasons and also during the pandemic we were not seeing people and felt very isolated. I joined UIKai and I have been so happy here. It's like another part of my family. Our goal was to have the seniors, have them smile, laugh, make something humorous. That was our goal. We would act silly. The red ladder improv workshop started at the wellness center. I'm the oldest one there at 90, but when I'm there, I'm uh, like a kid. I really look forward to still being active with UIKai. Newspaper rolling is, is my primary volunteer word. I participate in the lunch program as an eater, <laughs> which you know their meals are outstanding, you know, it really is. But Hawaiians would say there's a lot of aloha spirit that emanate from UIKai. It's a good class. Yeah. It's fun is an important thing. And, and we work on balance, change of weight, a lot of those skills that are important to maintain our health as seniors. We have fun. We laugh our way through the entire class. <laughs> the welcome was heartfelt, and it was genuine. Welcomed into the nutrition program, and then Ikebana. It's wonderful. It's inclusive. It's a community. My mother was very active in both the West Valley JCL and UIKai for many, many years. She's now 93 and unable to volunteer. She does attend the SDS program here a couple days a week. She really enjoys it and I am very thankful that it's available to her. The staff is just amazing. So compassionate and kind and professional in every way. My mom has early stages of Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. It's a safe place for my mom right. because I have to go to work and it just keeps her busy, Right, keeps her right. Uh, active. There are some sons, our senior sons, who have no connection mm -hmm. or idea of our JA community. Mm -hmm. And so I think sure. we need to reach out to them and have some, some kind of connection uh -huh. too so that they could um, feel that we do have a legacy that we want to um, preserve and pass on to the fourth um, Yonsei and Gosei and mm -hmm. so on. 
that was uh, an original idea that we, we all felt very united around. But I think that Margaret was able to make a big contribution when you articulated the mm -hmm. point about cultural transmission. Yeah. Yes. Because mm -hmm. it's not just history. It's like, are we passing this down mm -hmm. effectively and, mm -hmm. you know, in a genuine, um, engaging kind of way. And I think we have impacted the larger Japanese community. We say, carry this on to the next generation. Hanumate niiri, something as simple as that. Yeah. But it's important. Also, the idea of fun, it's a pleasure. Yoikai and Akiyama Wellness just seems to cradle that community of our elders. Mm -hmm. And I think that sense of community is very special. I would want this for my kids. That I would love this in the future. Very vital. Strengthening social bonds through mutual support, passing on our cultural heritage with future generations and the broader community, heartfelt welcoming and nurturing inclusion of new members to our community. This is what makes UI Kai the Kokoro, the beating heart of Japantown.